What's up guys, welcome back once again to the reviews. Today I'm going to be checking out the new fans from Inwin. I've already done an unboxing of these, so this is the actual review to see how well they perform. These are the Neptune Silent Static Pressure Fans AN120s, ARGB, 120mm fans in a three pack. Uh, for around £35, I believe. Uh, I'll put that up on the screen if I'm wrong and I'll leave a link in the description below. Uh, so let's get these installed. Um, we'll show you what they look like once they're installed uh, in terms of the ARGB effects and then we'll uh, give you some information on how they perform. So we've got the AN120 ARGB fans installed. Uh, you've seen the B-roll, hopefully you agree with me, they look fantastic. Um, they look very similar to the Lunas in my opinion, um, but they do look great. Um, and obviously they're a different uh, fade fan blade design uh, for static pressure for, um, for radiators. So obviously they're aimed at the radiator if you're looking at that, but you can use them for airflow. So in terms of testing, what I've done with these is I've tested them against the cool, the fans that come with the cooler, which is the Endorphy F360 Navis ARGB. Tested it against those. I've also tested it against the Be Quiet Lightwings, um, because obviously they're an ARGB fan, um, decent quality. And I've also tested it against the Silent Wings 4, not the Pro versions, just the 4, um, to basically give a good overall picture of how they perform. Now, in terms of pricing between all of these, uh, your light wings are the most expensive. You're looking around 60, 60 to 65 pound for a pack of three, whereas these AN120s are around 35 pounds, so they're almost half price. Um, so if you perform well, then these are a great buy. And then you just, your silent wings four, again, are around the same sort of price as the light wings. They're quite expensive fans um, because they are sort of like a pro fan, even though these aren't the pro versions. And then the Endorphy came with the cool. I'm not too sure on the price on those. I will try and find that out and put it in the description below if I can. Um, but I think they're a very similar price to the AN120s. So let's talk about the performance. Um, we've done Cinebench, uh, we've done it all at 100%, 75% and 50% of the fan speed to give you an overall idea. And we've tested the noise levels as well. And we've also tested them all at the same, the top speed that the AN120 can run um, to give you a better comparison of these. So let's get on with that. So in terms of idle temperatures, um, we're looking at on the light wings, 100% is 35 degrees, 75% is 35 degrees and 50% is 36 degrees. The AN120s came in at 36, 36 and 37 respectively. The Silent Wings came in at 35, 36, and 36, so pretty much exactly the same. And then the Endorphy ones that come with the cooler came in at 36, 36, 36 across the board. However, when these were tested, the room was around 25 and a half degrees, whereas with the Light Wings it was at 25. And the Shadow, the Silent Wings again were at 25 and a half, and the Endorphy was at 26. But we're within one and two sort of uh, degrees here in terms of over ambient temperatures. These will be up on the screen for you to see it anyway. Um, so not a lot in it at all, pretty much margin of error. Now we went on to the maximum test results. Uh, so basically Cinebench, multi-core, five minutes to see at the maximum temperature it would get to. I don't do averages anymore because it's very hard to control uh, depending on when you start the test, when the test finishes, all that kind of stuff, temperature in the room, rise in at the same time and it just it gets a mess and it's not very informative to be honest with you so maximum temperature is what i stick with now so the an120s maximum 100 percent fan speed was 71 degrees on the cpu package at 75 percent they were 72 degrees and at 50 percent it was 74 degrees comparing that to the light wings at 71 72 and 74 exactly the same the silent wings at 71 72 and 73 and the Endorph is at 72, 73, and 74. So again, all within sort of margin of error. Now let's talk about the over ambient temperatures to give you a better picture of what we're talking about here in terms of how they performed. So these AN120s, 100%, 75%, and 50% came in at 45.5, 46.5, and 48.5 over ambient. The light wings came in at 46, 47, and 49, so slightly worse. 
but again, probably within margin of error. The Silent Wings 4 came in at 45 and a half, 46 and a half, and 47 and a half. And the Endorphins came in at 46, 47, and 48. So again, all within sort of margin of error of each other, and not a lot of difference in it. So when tested at 2200 RPM, which is the maximum of the AN120s, um, they came in, obviously their maximum, I've already told you that was uh, 54 over, um, uh, sorry, 45 and a half over ambient, whereas when tested at 2200, the light wings came in at 46, so a little bit more. The silent wings came in at 45 and a half, so exactly the same. And the endorphins don't go that high, they only go up to 1800, well they got to about 1900. Sorry, they got to 2000 uh, and they came in at 46 over ambient for their maximum. So let's talk about the uh, noise levels of these because that might be a deciding factor as they're all sort of within uh, margin of error for each other. So at 100%, 75%, 50% again in the testing, decibel levels of the AN120s were 54, 47 and 45. Compare that to the silent wing uh, the light wings which is 46 47 49 so quite a bit quieter at the top end but louder at the bottom end silent wings 4 were 54 49 and 44 respectively um very similar pretty much uh, pretty much on par with the an120s and then the endorphins were 52 46 and 44 so again they're all within sort of a couple of decibels of each other and there's not much to choose from between these so Pretty much all this is going to come down to is price and obviously so the performance is pretty much the same across the board. So these fans for the price of €35 Euros is absolutely great to be honest with you. They don't feel as good quality build. Um, so yeah, they don't feel as good quality build as say like the light wings or the silent wings because they are very expensive fans. Um, but they perform well, um, really well to be honest with you. Uh, I'm quite impressed with them. Um, so the only thing it's really going to come down to is the looks of them. Uh, they are a sort of translucent blade, um, shine from the hub outwards, whereas obviously your light wings have got like a ring, ring around them, which looks really nice in my opinion. Um, your silent wings obviously got no ARGB and your endorphins are very similar in terms of the way they look in these as well. Um, so it pretty much comes down to that, but I can say these are great fans. Um, they definitely perform well. The In terms of the temperatures, it could be down to the limitations of the cooler, as in that's pretty much as good as the cooler can give. It is a decent cooler, but that's pretty much as good as it can give, no matter how much um, fan speed you throw at it. Um, so, yeah, all in all, guys, great fans, look really good, perform really well. Uh, definitely recommend them, and obviously they're not too expensive either. So thank you for watching. Thanks again to Win for sending these out for, uh, for review. Um, it's been a pleasure working with them again. Uh, I hope you guys liked this. If you did, give it a like. If you didn't, give it a dislike. Leave me any comments in the comment section below. Uh, thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.